In this video, we're going to have a look at Scratch O Mission 1, uh, Moon Escape, which is basically a simple mission in Scratch, where you have to move Scratch O from the bottom left hand corner of the screen back to his mothership without touching any of the craters. As you'll see from the script section, there are three scripts one for Scratch O, one for the mothership, and one for the mission complete uh, message, which comes up at the end if you complete the mission. And um, we've got one backdrop, which is just a simple um, view of the moon with the craters. So back to Scratch -o. In this task, you don't have to worry about the three uh, scripts at the top. These actually control the the problem and make sure that it works. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to explain how these work and what they actually do. So first of all, the first piece of code of the first script says when the green flag is clicked, i.e. when the game starts, we want to show Scratch -o. We're on Scratch, so this script relates directly to Scratch. -o. We want to set the size to 20%. If you look at Scratch's costumes, by selecting the costumes tab, you'll see that the Scratch image is actually quite big. So, in order to make it the right size for this type of game, we have to set it to 20%. Uh, we then want to switch to costume Scratch -o right. If you look at game, we've got Scratch facing to the right and we've got Scratch facing to the left. In this game or in this challenge, it makes sense for Scratch to be facing towards the right as that is the direction that he's pulling. And then we have this bit of code which just basically is a motion brick and it tells Scratch to go to X minus 215, which is over here, and Y minus 155, which is down here. Basically how this works is right in the middle of your screen will be the point zero zero. Okay, you can see down here we've got the X and we've got the Y coordinates. If you go towards the middle of the screen it will be it'll get close to zero zero. And how it works is if we increase the value of x, it will move from left to right. Okay, so you can see there the value of x is increasing. And if we move from right to left, you will see that the value of x is decreasing. Once we go past zero, it will eventually move into negative numbers. So we have about minus 240 to the left and minus two and uh, plus 240 to the right. In a similar way, we also have the Y coordinates, which is the Y axis going from the top of the screen to the bottom. The zero point again is around the middle. If we increase Y, it's going to move the sprite or whatever it is that we're actually moving on the screen up the ways. Whenever we change Y by a negative value, it's going to start moving down the ways. Eventually, again, you'll see the bottom of the screen will go down to minus 180. Okay, so all that's doing is that's telling Scratch to go to this area of the screen because that's where it needs to be at the start of the game. If we started them up here, it would be a very easy challenge. This gives it a bit more difficulty as you have to navigate around more of the critters. Then the next piece of code is simply just to give it a little bit of sound. If I play it first, you can hear it. Slightly annoying, but it makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, and all that's saying is forever play the sound spiral. And I've added a wait two seconds in because within the wait, you'll see it just repeats constantly. The wait two seconds gives it a bit of time to actually play the full sound. Okay, so that's the first script on Scratch. This is just about setting him where we want to start, facing the right direction and making sure he's the right size, and then playing a simple sound. The next piece of code is telling us when the green flag is clicked, so when the game starts. Forever we want to run, we want to check this um, this if statement and we want to do something if Scratch is touching the colour grey. So again when the green flag is clicked forever check if um, Scratch is touching the colour grey. The colour grey relates to the inside of the craters. Then if he is we're going to play the sound dirty were and we're going to wait one second and we're going to go to X minus 215, Y minus 155. Again that's the same as the start place so we're just putting them back to the start. Okay, now if I just play the game, the problem, and I drag him over and drop him on one of the critters, you see it plays the sound, waits one second, and then returns Scratch to the start of the map. That's all that piece of code is doing, or that script, whatever you want, you want to call it. And the last one, again, is just saying when the game starts, that's when the green flag is clicked, forever we want to check if Scratch is touching the mothership. This is the mothership sprite up here. And if it is, we want to change the color effect by 25. That's because the lights change the color so we can see that something's actually happened. And then 
the last thing that I've got in there is a repeat 10 times chain size by minus 1. That just makes uh, Scratch will shrink down and makes it look like he's going inside the spaceship. Eventually, the last part is set to hide Scratch, and that's outside the repeat loop because we, we only want to hide him once. Okay, if he's inside the repeat loop, he will it won't look right. Okay, it'll disappear the first time there's run. We want that to happen after he's been shrunk down, so therefore he's outside uh, of the repeat loop. And then if I play that and just drag him up to where he should be. You will see that whenever he's dropped on Mothership, he changes color slightly, it's hard to see it there though. And he changes the size, shrinks down, eventually he is hidden so we cannot see him. So those are the three scripts on Scratch -O. Another few, th uh, another two sprites we've got are Mothership and Mission Complete. Again, they've got some simple, sprite, some simple scripts on those. Um, the first one is basically again telling the mothership that when the game starts we want to point in direction 90 degrees that's just making sure this point in this direction and it's not upside down on the screen we want it to go to x 212 and y 131 and that just moves it to this area of the screen then we stop that script because we don't need to run that anymore that's only going to run at the start and that's the only place we want the mothership to be in this problem next piece of code we have is just a again when the green flag is clicked so when the game starts we want to run a forever loop and all we're doing within the forever loop is we're getting it to move five steps to the right so move five steps in the direction it's facing which is moving it over this way and then we want it to turn slightly in a clockwise direction then we have a short wait and we have a move minus five steps back to the left and a turn three degrees in the anti-clockwise direction followed by again a short wait all this does is whenever we play it this creates the actual motion on the uh, mothership which makes it look like it's wobbling from side to side just makes it a little, a little bit more interesting and adds a bit of movement to it the last piece of or the last script which we have on uh, the mothership is again a forever loop uh, when the game starts forever check if the mothership is touching scratch -o. so we can obviously choose different things within this but in this case we're searching for whenever the mothership touches scratch -o. and what we want to have now is we we broadcast uh, we send out the broadcast mission complete so that's like a secret message we can send throughout games to make things happen at certain points in time in the game or whenever different sprites interact so how that's used within that game all that does is that sends out a message mission complete and if we then look at the mission complete sprite which is down here what we've got then is when i receive so when the mission complete sprite receives the mission complete message it is shows Okay, it's actually going to appear on the screen, and then we've got a repeat loop 10 times. We're switching between two different costumes. If we look at this costumes, they're just two different colors, red and black, and all that does is that makes it flash, okay, on the screen at the end. There's a short wait again just to make it look like it's actually flashing. If we don't have the wait, you can't really see it actually changing, so it's only a tiny wait. And at the end of that, we just stop that script. Um, actually we stop all because whenever that happens that's the end of the game so I've used stop all there this means that when Scratch will touch the mothership it's going to stop all sprites within the game and this bit of code is just basically saying when the green flag is clicked we want mission complete the sprite to hide okay so you can see if I click on it it is there but it's just hidden then we want it to go to right in the middle of the screen zero zero and then stop that script and that does nothing then until it receives the mission complete broadcast. So that's just a little uh, look at the code behind Scratch Your Mission 1 Moon Escape. And if you do complete the mission, you might want to have a play about with, with these different pieces of code and see how you can change the game or save your own copy of the game and edit it in some way.